So we want to talk all about AI again. A lot of you have been asking me, what is the program I should be using in order to test out the AI? There's a lot of apps out there. A lot of them are paid for. And some of you just might want to get a feel for how AI works, what kind of questions you can ask. So if you use Canva, this is the best way to just get a feel for how things work. If you have a free account, from what I understand, you do get 25 uses of the AI feature to write. Um, and if you have a pro account, I think you have up to 75 uses per month uh, to just generate ideas. So I'm going to show you exactly how to access this feature on Canva, because I think a lot of us use Canva currently. So I am going to go over to the Canva home screen, which is right here. And you can see on the left hand side, there should be an option for docs. So you can only use this feature right now in the docs section. So you want to click on that. And under this plus a uh, little button here, you want to click on that and you just want to do magic right. So we're going to go through a few examples and I'll show you what kinds of ideas or text it comes up with. So I just have a saved document over here that I'm just going to copy and paste just to make it easier. So the first thing I want it to do is to write me a real estate listing description for a two bedroom condo in downtown Toronto that has been completely renovated, great view, spacious balcony and great amenities. We're gonna press enter. And within a matter of seconds, it's gonna come up with a real estate listing description right here. So the spacious two bedroom condo in the heart of downtown Toronto offers breathtaking city views and an updated interior that will leave you in awe. And it goes on. So this is a great way. You don't necessarily or probably shouldn't copy the whole thing because obviously there's going to be more detail or changes you'll likely want to make. But this is a great start, um, a great template. And then you can go in and customize it and make it more uh, applicable to your particular listing. So that's one way of using this. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to ask it to write me a blog post about the top five reasons someone's house might not sell. So we'll go back. Again, we'll click on the plus sign and click on magic right. And might take a little bit longer because it's a blog post, so that's longer. And here we go. So price, poor curb appeal, cluttered spaces, outdated features, poor home staging. So those are the reasons why your home might not sell. Um, and so this is a great start as well. If you're looking to write up a blog post or maybe use this as a script for a listing or a, sorry, a video you might want to do on YouTube. So there you go. There's another way to do it. Um, the next example I'm going to give is for give me real estate video content ideas. Sometimes we struggle with that, right? We want to get some ideas going so we can get started with some more video content for our business. So let's see what this gives us. <clears throat> Here we go. We've got probably 10 or so different ideas for video content, virtual tours of properties, real estate market updates, local real estate news, in-depth interviews with local real estate agents, maybe local businesses, um, how-to videos and topics like staging a home, preparing for a home inspection, highlight videos of local area attractions, videos featuring tips and advice from real estate professionals, real estate success stories, behind the scenes, real estate investing tips, tour of recently sold property, Q&A videos with real estate experts, case studies of successful real estate deals. There you go. So if you're struggling for ideas, ask Canva for some ideas and you'll get some. Um, and then we've got two more. Give me five catchy headlines for my YouTube video for first time home buyers. So let's see what it comes up with. Secrets to buying your first home revealed. I like that one. The ultimate guide to becoming a first time home buyer. Home buying tips for beginners. Get ready to own your home. The essential checklist for first time home buyers. Don't miss out tips and tricks for home buying success. Those are some pretty good ones. And finally, I'm going to ask it to give me five ways I can grow my real estate business in a neighborhood. So let's see what it comes up with here. 
Get to know local market by attending local events and networking with other real estate professionals. Create a strong online presence um, with a website, blog, and engaging with potential customers on social media. Develop relationships with local banks and lenders who can help you finance deals. Build relationships with local vendors such as appraisers, inspectors, and contractors who can provide valuable services for your customers. And invest in marketing programs that target the local community, community such as direct mail, email campaigns, and local advertising. Some basic ones, but, um, you know, sometimes you just need a little bit of a push and, and a little bit of an idea to get you going. So, again, the opportunities are endless with this. Use this to get your creativity going versus using it as your creativity. Sometimes you just need to get started. You need a template. You need a framework for how you want to line things up or get going on a certain idea. And this is a great way to use AI um, through all of this. So I just gave five examples, I think. So basically, that's five of my my uh, my uses for the month. Uh, I I do have a pro account, so I I guess I get up to seventy five. That's what I've heard at least. So um, you know, obviously, use it sparingly, especially if you've got uh, a, a free account, but. Um, give it a try. Get Try it out. See kind of how you can make use of it. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you have any issues accessing this, um, just let me know as well. And I can help guide you through and get you um, where you need to be. And hopefully that was helpful. Have a great day and talk to you soon.